Update the look of your wood furniture in just one afternoon. It is super easy. Of course, I'm here at Menards with my good friend Joey, and we're going to do just that. Here's what you need. We're using Minwax products, and you'll need a can of pre-stain, wood finish, a fast-dry polyurethane, a wood finish brush, a polyurethane brush, and definitely some gloves. Now, you may also need mineral spirits, sandpaper, steel wool, a drop cloth, and rags to wipe away any excess stain. So I'm going to get my gloves on, and the item we decided to update is this really cool shelf. It's like an organizational shelf. Now what do we do next? Well, I've sanded it. I've also taken some mineral spirits and removed any dust from it. Okay, that's Now we're going to apply the pre-coat, which is going to be some wood conditioner. Okay, and why, why do we use this? We put this on uh, so it allows our stain to penetrate a little bit better into the wood. So just a more even finish. Absolutely. So we have our wood conditioner on and we let it sit for how long? About 10 or 15 minutes. And now our next step is? We're going to apply some stain. Um, we need to get new brushes for that. Okay, new brushes, make sure, because that's really important. And we're going to do nice, even strokes with the wood grain. And it's going to be a little bit runny, so don't be scared of it. And uh, there's so many different kind of colors to choose from. I happen to pick a red oak. I think it's a good choice. Carolyn, your side is starting to look a little bit runny. Okay, what do we do about that? You're just going to take a rag and wipe it off. It's as simple as that? Yeah. Okay. There's your rag. And just wipe? Yeah, just wipe with the wood grain again. You're That's gonna pull really cool. any excess stain off there. And you thought this was gonna be hard. Certainly not hard. It looks so good. This is so different from what I had before. It looks completely different. Now what do we do? Next step is apply the polyurethane. You wanna make sure you stir it really well before you use it immediately. Okay. Uh, never wanna shake it because that'll put air bubbles in the polyurethane. Air bubbles are bad. Yeah. So so what's the, what is this all about? Is this like a sealer or it's a protective coat. Okay. So it's gonna protect all the hard work you put into this. Again with this one, you're gonna do nice even strokes go, with the wood grain. Go with the grain. And you wanna make sure you have proper ventilation, because the fumes can be strong. All right, so we're gonna continue with our polyurethane. We're gonna get this whole thing prepped and ready to go. We'll see you in a little bit. You're going to be amazed at how good this looks. Right? Yeah. Yeah.